every input has exactly one output. The inputs are the x's. The outputs are the y's. Every input has exactly one output. The input is the x's, the output is the y's. We say that the domain of a function is the inputs or the x values. What are the x values that we are using in this situation? One, two, three, two. One, two, and three. We don't have to list the two a second time. We use this squiggly thing, which is a roster notation. It's kind of like we have players number we have players on our teams with numbers one, two, and three. This is not saying that we have all of the numbers between one and three. Like we don't have one and a half. We don't have uh, 2.68. Okay. We have the, the numbers one, two, and three. What are the range values? Two, five, seven, eight. Yeah. So the domain are like the players in the game. The range is like the outputs, the number of goals scored. So what does the number one go to? Two. It goes to two because of this. What does the number two go to? Uh, Five and eight. eight. The number three goes to? Seven. seven. Have a conversation with the person next to you. Is this a function, yes or no, why or why not? Go, talk, talk. Mm -hmm. No. Five, four, three, two, one. Is it a function? No. no, it is not because, and if you're ever confused, just, just use these as a player. Is it possible for Spencer to score both five and eight goals? And the answer is no. So this is not a function. We go to the next one, and our domain is going to be 3, 5, 7, and 12. What is our range? Yep, negative 1 and positive 6. Oh, shoot. Don't they have to go in order? It would be best to put them from least to greatest. If you don't do that, I don't make a big stink about it, but I do appreciate if you can put from least to greatest. That's the way we do it. Three goes to what? Six. Five goes to? Six. Seven goes to negative one, and 12 goes to negative one. Have a conversation with the person next to you. Is this a function? Yeah. Why or why not? Go talk. Because all of the X's have it. It only matters the X's. None of the X's are used twice. You know what I mean? I believe. Yeah. 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 And stop. Is this a function? Yes. yes, this is. A lot of people get confused, and this is the point where you got to work through it. People say, well, there's more than one arrow going to the spot. It's okay because look at this. It's like number three and five. Three is Keaton, and number five is Spencer. Can they both score six goals? Yes. You can have more than one arrow going to the Y's. You can't have more than one arrow coming from the X's. Get my point? Yes. That's the idea. Okay. Uh, the next one, I, uh, I messed up here. Um, and this number instead of two, we're going to make it four. So the domain is one, two, three, and four. What's the range? Four. Just number four. They all map to the number four. Have a conversation with the person next to you. Is that a function? Yes or no? Why or why not? Yes. Yes. Okay, is it a function? Yeah. Yes, it's totally possible to have four people on a team both score four, all score four goals. 
Look at the next one without doing the domain and the range. Is this a function, yes or no? Giselle, you say no. Why not? Because um, the 1 is going to go to negative 2 and 7. Yeah, 1 goes to negative 2 and a 7. So therefore, it fails. No, it's not a function. Okay, It is not a function. There's different ways in which you try to determine if something is a function or not. That would be a process which we call mapping, kind of showing where the x's and the y's go. Another uh, thing is to look at a vertical line test. I'm going to draw two graphs here, the blue one and then a red one. Go ahead and you can draw those shapes. And the question is, are those functions? One of them is. And what we use is we don't use a horizontal line test. We use the vertical line test. Watch as you drag this vertical line across. You see, does it ever cross the graph in more than one spot? Look at the blue one. It crosses only once, right? Now, sometimes people get confused because they think about a horizontal line test. They're like, well, the horizontal line crosses in three places. It's okay for a horizontal line to cross more than once. It's not okay for a vertical line to cross more than once. So as you notice here, the blue one, because the vertical line only crosses in one spot all the time, the blue one is a function. Is the red one a function? No, it's a circle. No, it is an oval. So we have yes for this one. And we have no for this one. Circles also are not functions. Lots of examples, not functions. Okay? So we flip it over. It now says determine the domain and the range and then identify if it's a function. We're going to do a couple where you're given points and a couple where you're given graphs. And then you're going to have time to work on uh, an assignment on your own. Actually, I think the majority of people were able to finish their assignment in class during first hour. I think you guys will fall on that same page here as well. Okay? So, as I look at these points, I identify the domain. Now I'm doing it graphically. What are the x values for this domain? Two, three, six, seven. Yeah, I got the numbers 2, 3, 6, and 7. Does anybody have questions how I came up with any of those numbers? Then I have range values. Range are the y values. Which are the y values I have? 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Don't look at the numbers. Look at the graph. Do you think that this is a function? Why is it not a function? Yeah, C and D sit on top of one another, so they don't pass the vertical line test. Anytime you have points that are stacked, it is not a function. So no is the answer. The next one, our domain is 1, 3, 4, and 5. And our range is 1, 2, 3, and 5. Is that a function? Yes. Yes, yes it is. There's no spot where you have points stacked on top of each other. What's the difference between the graphs that I just showed you and then these two graphs down here? Yeah, they're connected. They're not just singular points, right? So this is a part where people get a little bit confused. I want to make sure I'm clear about it. This roster notation means it's only the numbers 2, 3, 6, and 7. Only the numbers 2, 3, 6, and 7. This does not include the number 4. Everybody say it doesn't include 4? Yep. If I wrote it like this, if I used a bracket instead of a roster notation, if I wrote a bracket with 2 and 7, that would mean that it doesn't just include 2 and 7. It includes everything between 2 and 7 as well. So if you look at example 7 here, okay, when we write the domain, at what x value do we start to get a graph? Zero. At 0. So we start at 0. 
and we notice that it is a connected graph. We have values all the way over to where? Eight. Eight. Eight is the last spot where we have an X value for the graph. So you use brackets if you're including everything in between. Roster notation, if it's singular points. Interval notation, if it's uh, everything in between. The range, where do we start? Zero. Zero, and where do we end? Four. We end at four. Okay, so for the range, you start at the bottom and you work your way up. So we start at zero and we go all the way up to four. Is that a function? No. Absolutely not, because it does not pass the vertical line test. Please try the next one on your own. For the first one, did you write negative 3 to 2? For the second one, I wrote negative 3 to 4. Did anybody write 4 to negative 3? Yeah. Just to be clear, I do accept it, but customarily, you always write it so that you start from the lower point to the bigger point. So you want to start with the smaller one to the bigger one, okay? So we really don't like that. I mean, I'm not going to mark it wrong, but we, we, we don't prefer that. Okay, Is that a function? Yes. Okay, last example. Flip it over to this side. Okay, we're just gonna do uh, three, or we're just gonna do these uh, first four, and that will be it. Okay, you guys will be on your way. But what we want to do here is we want to identify the domain and range, and then whether or not it's a function. Okay, the domain and the range, and identify whether or not it's a function. What's different about these? Um, they have multiple points. And they have arrows. Notice how the arrows on the end of these say that the graph goes on forever. You see that? So what x value do you think we'll be starting with way over there? Infinity. Negative, negative infinity. So the domain starts with negative infinity. We put a parenthesis. You can never include infinity. So use a parenthesis on that. Okay. What value do you think is way over there? Infinity. Positive infinity. Then we go to the range. What value do you think is way down there? Negative infinity. And the goes to positive infinity. Is this a function? Yes. It is a function. Passes the vertical line test. This one's a little bit different. Domain. What x value is way that way? Negative, Negative infinity. infinity. You can see to positive infinity. But the range, it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, does it? Where does it start? <coughs> the range starts at? Okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Christian, Christian, Christian. Okay, anybody else? I want you to focus here. As you can see, this bottom spot right here, it's a parabola. You can see it's located at negative 2, negative 3. But we're describing the range. We don't care about the x value. We only list the y value. See that? So we start at negative 3. So negative 3, and then where does it go up to? Infinity. 
How come you did a bracket? Because, because it actually goes to negative three. You know what I mean? It's actually a spot that you locate on the graph. So you wouldn't do the weird little squiggly line? No, because it includes everything between there as well. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. That is a function, right? Yep, that is a function. This one, domain. Where do we start to gather x values? At 2. And it goes all the way till? Infinity. Where is it that we start to gather y values? Positive 5. Is that a function? Yes. Yeah. yes. Try the last one on your own. I'm going to get you to work. <coughs> Try the last one on your own. Yes, okay, She's just rocking the circle here. Mm -hmm. I got domain from negative infinity to infinity. I have ranged from negative two to infinity. Any question on that? Is this a function? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. I know that over the course of the past month, I'm not always honored uh, trying to give you enough work time in class. That will be a change as we move forward to the end of the semester. I want to test on stuff that is meaningful for you. I want to teach you stuff that you're going to need in your future. I do not want this to be a like a massive undertaking as we end the semester. I want you guys to be able to just get your stuff done, show up, take your test, and get a great grade. That's what I hope to do. Um, if you look at your assignment, okay, front page, you're just identifying whether or not it's a function. On the second page, you're stating the domain and the range and identifying whether or not it's a function. I apologize. I am a day late and a dollar short. I'm starting to run behind. I've missed my prep many times this week, and I've had stuff before and after school I've been doing. So I do not have the answer keys made for this unit. Calculus has a huge test on Tuesday. I'm trying to finish up that study guide answer key, and as soon as I'm done with that, I'll be starting to make the answer keys for this class. So I hope to have it ready tomorrow. Tomorrow. That is my goal. That is my goal. Okay? So...